You know what time it is, guys. It's story time. I am doing something a little bit different. A question that everyone, and I mean like everyone, has always asked me is, what is this scar on my face? You see it? You see this magnificent scar that looks like I I received it in a, in a battle, in in a fight to the death where I we almost lost my, my life? That's not exactly what happened. So, I'm gonna tell the story of how it happened. So story time! This happened in about 2014, I believe. In early 2014. I don't know if I should summarize it. I don't, ugh, okay. I'm not gonna summarize it. I'm just gonna go into detail. So at the time, I was in my senior year of high school and I was like, oh my God. Hey, it's time to go to the batting cage and I met this dude that I had a crush on and we went on a date and we were like Let's go have fun at the local like country fair thing where you know There's go-karts and batting cages and like games and arcades and I'm like this sounds like a wonderful idea <sighs> Little did I know I would have a scar that would stay with me for the rest of my life that day. So we went to the country fair thing. It was like a, I don't even know, the batting cage. We went to the local batting cage. There's supposed to be someone on staff because I didn't know what the rules were. There were no helmets, but apparently you're supposed to wear a helmet, but I couldn't find a helmet. And no, I did not get wrecked in the face by a baseball. We went and it was my turn first and I hit every single ball out of the park. I did the fastest ball possible, 95 miles an hour, hit everyone home run, destroyed the machine, had to go to the next one because I was just killing it. No, I'm just kidding. I, I did it like normal and I was, I was like swinging and I was having a great time and it was like a, it was like an early 2000s having fun sequence and movies and shows. You're like having a great time. And then the guy I was on a date with, then he went and he didn't hit as many balls as me because I'm just, I'm just that good. So he goes and he hits a bunch of balls and then the batting cage, like it stops, he's out of balls. Sounds really weird. But I left my bag in the batting cage and he didn't know that I was coming into the batting cage and the machine was over so I was like, why not? I wanna, I wanna go get my chapstick, my lips be chapped, I needed something, right? So <laughs> he picks up a ball that he clearly missed. He threw it up in the air, he hits it and on the back swing hits me right in the face. I didn't realize what happened. I just was really dizzy and I couldn't open my eyes. It was all red and I hear him freaking out and I'm like, what? <laughs> Relax, calm down, what's the, what's the issue? And so he starts panicking about blood and I'm like, what? And I'm just like, I'm clearly injured but I don't know what it is that happened. So I'm just like, call for help, I guess. I had a concussion at the same time and I didn't know what was happening. He ran and grabbed the people that were like <laughs> at the golf cart or just anyone that worked there and he was like, she's hurt, needs medical attention. So these people come over and they put me on this golf cart and they, they bring me to this table and these old ass men, these old geezers, they like I was, he, I'm like, the dude I was on a date with laid me down on the table and these old geezers were laughing at me. I was bleeding out of my face all over, blood dripping all over the ground. My face was covered. My eyes were crusted with blood everywhere, all over the dude's shirt, all over my shirt. I had to throw, we had to throw out the clothes. It was bad. Oh, oh, if I was completely coherent, I would have, I would have thrown hands with them. Oof, oof, I would have run them over with their own golf cart. But there was actually a girl there from my, from my high school. I never really got along with her and she was the sweetest and she really helped me. So I'll never forget that. That was really, really sweet of her. She'd show genuine concern on like those old farts. Then comes the decision of which hospital to go to because at the same time, I don't know what's happening. I just know that the guy's like, hey, they gotta sew up your face. And I'm like, you are not taking me to the cl closest hospital because they cannot even deliver babies. You're taking me to the far one. He didn't know where it was. Also, my parents didn't know I was on a date with this guy and this would be the first time that they're meeting him. And the first time that they're meeting him is because he destroyed their daughter face with a baseball bat. 
So just, he's freaking out. I'm like, loopy. I start singing Summertime Sadness because that was on the radio. And I'm like dying. <laughs> concussion blood pouring out like all the napkins are filling with blood because you know your head got a lot of blood <laughs> it was so funny oh my gosh i i mean it wasn't really funny but you know, looking back on it these, these are just funny things that happen so we finally find a doctor because the, the hospital's huge there's like no actual like real opening it's like you have to find your way in it's like a maze <sighs> eventually they take me in and they sew my face back closed. And what had happened with the baseball bat is that the baseball bat ripped open this entire section. Let me just get nice and close. You see this? And you see how my lip kind of goes up into it? So the baseball bat um, ripped this entire section open. So you could see into my mouth. It was just a gaping hole. And what it did was it also ripped open my gums, like up here. And this tooth was knocked out. A couple of my teeth were knocked out of place. So what they had to do is they had to, while I'm like obviously awake, I mean, this part they didn't really put much anesthetic in, but they had to push my teeth back into its correct, the correct position, which they did a good job. Look at this. This is fairly even, you know? This is just like, I got braces and then moved back, but like, yeah. So this was moved out, out of place, so they push it back up and then sew the gums closed so they would be in its normal place. And then after that, I had to get stitches on the inside of my mouth and then on, like, on the inside of the lip part and the outside. And, you know, they did a really awesome job and... <laughs> feel bad because I was laying there and these two like wonderful doctors were sewing my face closed and then my the dude I was on a date with was like crying and my parents are there and then his parents show up so it was the first time that I met his parents and it was the first time he met my parents and it was like me just laying there and so his parents were probably having a heart attack like oh my god you killed this girl their parents are gonna hate us and no things were cool my mom after all was said and done my mom was like you're stupid af you know what it's okay because from now on every halloween you can just you know dress up as scarface and you'll be you know you have a permanent halloween costume and i'm like thanks mom for a few weeks i couldn't have any solids and but i what oh my god sorry that scared me whoa i'm so I was only able to eat solid, I mean, <laughs> no liquids for me. I was only able to drink liquids. I wasn't able to eat any solids. So anything I had to eat was blended up. So if I wanted steak and potatoes, they put that shiz in a blender and I had to drink it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Thank goodness all I had was like soup. But even then, you know, the amount of stuff in soup, it just being, ugh. No thanks. That's basically what- oh, but um, on the bright side, I did happen to sneak out a lot and just like eat pizza. I snuck out of the house just to eat pizza because that's how much I craved that mineral. So, there you go. There's the story of how I got my scar. I got a baseball bat to the face on my first date with a boyfriend that I actually was with for three years afterwards and that was our first date. It's a pretty interesting story. It's not really that interesting. It's super quick. I could have just been like, yeah, Boyfriend of three years, first date, hit me in the face with a baseball bat in a batting cage. That's what happened. It was not battle scars, unfortunately. Maybe it was a battle against me and the, the bat, but I clearly lost. So that's that. Um, I hope you guys like, like the story time stuff. And if you guys don't or date the way I speak, let me know. I'll fix something. But yeah, if you guys want more story times or are curious about anything, I love telling stories. I have so many. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. And if I come up with any other details or like remember anything, I will, I will put it in the description. Thank you guys so much. Um, bye.